Hello there, you amazing viewers and subscribers. Welcome to a brand new epic Doctor Who topic video for today. So, as you can tell from the headline, Doctor Who The War Games is to be colorized. Now, you're probably wondering, what am I talking about? Well, I typed on Google for Doctor Who episodes to be colorized. Now, the Daleks was almost six, six months ago. Jesus, six months ago. And I went onto this website called Film Stories, and I will show you the website on my laptop in a minute. And it's got an article, so I thought I'd read out the article and basically see what my thoughts are. So it says, as you can see, Doctor Who: The War Games has been reported uh, has been sorry reportedly the next story to be colorized. Now, I absolutely love this story because this is one of my favorite stories from season six and from Charlton's era. So, I'm going by what it says here on the website. Patrick Trotton's final Doctor Who story, The War Games, is reportedly next in line to be turned into a coloured story. Many of the treats of Doctor Who fans this month, the colourised the colorized re-edit of the Daleks is perhaps the most surprised. Terry Nation's story has been edited from its original seven episodes, cut down to its to 45 minutes, which we all know about. And then, of course going from further that now although we have learned one black and white story and adding color to it just be the beginning according to a fresh rumor a second story is be already being lined up according to the mirror we we'll take this as a pinch of salt so film film story says take this as a pinch of salt um salt the war games is next in line for the color treatment so this is something I have to say I'm really hoping for. It says, The 10-episode epic colluded Patrick Troughton's tenure as they at the, at the Time Lord in 1969 with Terence Dix and Malcolm Holt's script, taking the Doctor, Jamie and Zoe through a plot to, to brainwash soldiers from throughout history as they take place in torrent games on a distant planet. This story is notable for introducing the Doctor's race, the Time Lords, probably for the first time. Well, it is the first time. The BBC has not committed and uh, commented on this yet, as it's been previously as it has pre previously the war get the war games on DVD as well. But presuming if there's smoke into this particular fire, for the idea will be added on a BI player debut again. Added a fresh disc outgoing. Don't hold us to it. So. According to this, from the according to the mirror, now the mirror is quite right in some Doctor Who um, news out there, like stories that have been found or what's been what's coming out in animation. So for the War Games to get this fantastic colorized treatment, now I love the War Games, so I kind of want to talk about basically why I'm looking forward to it. So if it's going to be like the Daleks and they're going to add new music into it, yeah, okay, I'd be pretty much up for that. If they're going to cut out, like, bits of that, bits of it, because the dialogue was seven parts long and I cut it out to be 75 minutes long, the biggest concern I've got is basically, because the War Games is more, is literally a more, uh, got three more episodes because it's a ten-parter, you know, that means they're going to edit quite a lot out of the story to kind of fit it into the 40, into the 75-minute time slot. So anyway, here is the DVD. So if you haven't seen the War Games, I would suggest go and buy the DVD only for five ninety nine, six ninety nine in HMV and Amazon.co.uk. I have to be honest with you, I'm quite looking forward to this because I think they've done good work colorization on the Daleks. I've got it here on the Steelbook and I've got it down here on the DVD. If I just quickly find it, uh, where is it? There we are. So I do have it on the Blu-ray Steelbook and I've got it here on DVD. So. To actually have the war games in this actual treatment would be amazing because considering we've not long had a heart, it's been literally like six months since we had the Daleks and that is a heart and story. I think it's about time and to be honest with you, I think they should really alternate between the first and second Doctors because we know by Russell T Davis that other Doctor Who stories are going to be colorized from the 60s. We know we've got more stories coming. So for the next one to be the war games, it's definitely logical because it is a Patrick Troughton story. It is basically out of the two regeneration stories for the 60s. This is the only one that survives. 
because the Tenth Planet is only missing episode four. So for the, this story to actually bear for existing, might be yeah, it's actually quite logical that it's going to be. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bring it out in color. Now I think this will be a very very good step because the Daleks look so good in color. So I'm not quite looking forward to see what they're gonna do with the war games because the fact they are in different time zones because you've got World War One, you've got the Roman time zone, you've got the American Civil War. And then, of course, you've got a Scottish, Scottish, Scottish one uh, war zone going on there as well. So you've got kind of like four, four different time zone war zones on the planet. And you've got the warlords basically in control. And, of course, working with the warlords is a time lord known as the war chief. And, of course, he's given the warlords the technology to travel through time, like, to time and space and kidnapping humans from the past. And then, of course, with this being the revolution, the Doctor is the only one to ha kind of not solve the situation. He actually has to call the Time Lords for them to come and help him sort out the situation and get everybody back into their own proper place and time zone. Now, again, this is the thing. I don't know what they're going to do. We have got 25 minute, 10 episodes in this story. So how are they going to cut it out through down to 75 minutes? So... My vision that I kind of got it if basically they just kind of cut out all the scenes where they escape, they get captured and escape again. Because there's a lot of that in the story where the Doctor, Jamie and Zoe get into the situation, they get captured, then they escape, then they get captured in a different time zone. Then they escape and then they get captured again and then they escape, then they get captured again. And of course Jamie gets nearly killed, shot to death. And so does the Doctor. And really I'm quite looking forward to this because one... We get to see that epic scene in episode 10 where basically the Doctor is trying to run away from his own people. But they're kind of throwing down that force field where they have to do the slow running. And the, you've got someone going, what's happening, Doctor? Time Lords! You know, I really think that bit will be looking quite good in colour. It'd be fantastic to see the actual TARDIS console room in colour again. Because I'd love the Daleks because it looks so beautiful in the Daleks. So I'm quite looking forward to seeing this set. Uh, from Troughton's story. And to be honest with you, I really think it'd be interesting if they go Hartnell for once for one year, then colorize a Troughton for the next for this year, aka the war games as it's been reported, and then next year go back to a Hartnell story because they can easily pick one from season two or season or season two, season three, because there's some stories. I mean they could even go colorize the war machines if they wanted to, because that's a four parter. So I'm actually quite excited if this story does come true i read it and i've kind of wanted to make this video about it because i love what they did with the dialects and the colorization but i kind of want to know what the next story is going to be i mean it's been six months and the wait is kind of killing me because i just want some new doctor who content yes i know we got season one coming out next month we got in june doctor who the slash toy maker animation coming out i we've just had season 15 but i just kind of want to know what the next 60 story they're going to basically bring out into colour because I really think the colorization of the 60 episodes are a great way to get new new fans into the show. I mean, if you're going to show... I mean, I really think the Daleks was a really good choice to bring that into colorization because I think it did it so well. I think the ratings were a little bit hard on it because it, it did only broadcast on BBC4, but I think through iPlayer it was absolutely brilliant and i think the dvd sales and the blu-ray sales were so good over here and so yeah i really do think the war the war games is definitely going to be the next story to be colorized it does very very much look like it and i'm actually quite excited for this one so yeah because it really be great and petron is my favorite doctor from the 60s so it'd be absolutely fantastic to see to sit down and watch one of his stories in colour. It's actually been a really great piece to watch Hartnell in the Daleks. You're probably going, but Paul, you've already watched Hartnell in colour because of the Galaxy 4. I've seen the animations in colour, but it's just something that is just so good to sit down and watch a 1960s Doctor Who brought up for a modern audience. And I really think that was a great way to do it for the Daleks. And I really think this is a great way, again, what to do with a regeneration story. Not just a regeneration story. The last regeneration story from the 1960s. And, of course, I really think it would be brilliant if they can actually add or edit, like, the scene from Spare from Space with the Tyler's 
like materializes onto earth and Pertwee falls out the TARDIS. That would be a good way to add that colorization, that that color scene into this story as well, because I think that would absolutely be perfect. So let me know in the comments. Do you think this is going to be true? Are you looking forward, if it is true, that the War Games is going to be next to be colorized? If you want to read the article yourself, I have I am going to put the link down below for you in the in the um, subscription bit. So you can actually sit down and if you want to read the article itself and see what you think, let me know in the comments. I, for one, absolutely really do hope this is just, this, this, this just comes true. I really am hoping this comes true because I love Patrick Troughton. He is my third favourite Doctor, but I love the War Games. It's literally my second favourite story from season six after the invasion. And of course, af and of course after this story, we have the Seeds of Death death as well so i would be happy if the seeds of death would be the one to get colorization but i'm very very happy with my second favorite story from th season six so yeah let me know in the comments what do you think are you looking forward to this if it does come true and um, let me know in the comments if it, if you do not think it is the war games that has been reported then what story do you think is next to be colorized let me know in the comments please do like subscribe and share and join me for more awesome doctor who content